Boys like me don't cry Boys like me pretend me don't cry Boys like me don't cry Boys like me pretend me don't cry Girl, you write your name, I can do the same You were in your desk, reading the script for your show. Knock knock, Mia said at the same time, sat on her chair. Why, you need anything? The head of TV show department is looking for you, she added. Me? You said while pointing yourself in surprise. Why the head of your department is looking for you? You start to be nervous while recollecting if you make some mistake. Why he's looking for me? I don't know, answered Maya. I'm nervous. By the way, thank you, you said as you stand up and walk going upstairs where the head office is. You knock and get in. Sit down, Miss Wyatt. I was really waiting for you. At the same time, he transferred to sit on the sofa near you. Is there is any problem, sir? No, no. In fact, I have a big announcement for you. Mr. Jun Jungkook finally agreed to be our guest. Jungkook? Jun Jungkook? Yes. Why are you surprised? Nothing, sir. But why are you telling me this? Because he will be your guest. Huh? But, sir, I mean... He is a CEO and a businessman. He should be guest and the business topic. Why in my show? I know you are aware that my show is all about love and relationship. I know it's weird, but he don't want to be guest in the other shows. He only agree if you were the host. Aside from that, you don't need to worry about the topic. Jungkook aware that the topic will be his relationship. The script writer should the one who will think the question and of course we communicate him before finalizing the question that you're going to ask him during the show. He already agreed. This is our opportunity now to have him on our show. It's been months since your company convincing him to be the guest, but Jungkook always refused them. But after coming back from abroad, and got to know that you are working on that company, he finally agreed. But you should be the one who makes an interview to him. I understand, sir. So, when his schedule? In your next year. The day after tomorrow? But sir, we already have a guest for the next show. Don't worry about that. We just reschedule his interview and let Mr. June go first. Am I ready to face him? Walking the hallway going to the dressing room while reading the script that was given to you for Jungkook's interview. Miss YM, you raise your head after you heard your boss's voice. Yes sir, you answer without hesitation until you saw that someone with him. It's Jungkook. Miss YM, I would like to meet Mr. Jun. Nice to meet you, Mr. Jun, you said and bowed at him at the sign of respect. Nice to meet you too, he just stared at you. What did this guy eat? Why he wants to be on my show? You see him secretly flash a small smile. Excuse me, sir, Mr. Jun, I need to prepare for the show. Your boss just said go ahead. So you quickly get inside the dressing room. While your makeup artist is busy doing your makeup, you're also busy reading the script. Why the question is like this? There's a lot of topic. Why like this? You mumble. Miss YM, is there's a problem? Huh? Ah, uh, nothing. Don't mind me. 
Later on, someone knocked on the door. Then one of the staff came in. Miss Ryan, are you done? The show will be aired in a few minutes. Coming, I'm done. He hurriedly stood up and checked the reflection again in the mirror and gets out of the dressing room. When you get there, the first thing you notice is Jim Cook silently watching you from the corner of the producer giving you an instruction. Gosh, why I'm so nervous. I interviewed a lot of celebrities and people who is higher than me. But why it feels like I'm a beginner of this field? Is she nervous? I think so. The director signal you to start, so you fix yourself again in front of the camera and clear your throat. After that, you give a signal to roll the camera. Hello everyone, especially to our viewers. It's me again, YN, your host. Whether you are chilling your house or rushing your assignments, getting ready for a big night out, I'm super happy to keep your company. We have a famous and handsome guest for tonight, and we're going to talk and share some of his favorite moments of his ex-girlfriend. I don't want you to wait anymore. I know many girls are crushing over him, especially here in the studio. Relax, girls. Please welcome the heart job CEO of Korea that captivated the young generation's heart, Mr. Jun Jungkook. He do his entrance. The audience welcome him a round of applause. You will stand up and greet him as you invited him to take a seat. Please sit down. Can I call you Mr. Jun? Just call me by my name, please. Now, Mr. Jun, I mean Jungkook, we're going to talk about your favorite moment with your ex-girlfriend. But before that, do you have an ex-girlfriend? Yes, I have. So, can you share with us and to the viewers? I'm sure the artist will to know. We separated for almost two years, but I can still remember the day that she cried because she failed an audition. So I told her that I will take her somewhere. I give her a piggyback and go to the rooftop. I told her to shout all her troubles. Of course she did. Sorry, I can't demonstrate here. He just smiled and say, No problem. She shout the company name and curse them. Lot of people look up at us, so we crouch down and giggled. You didn't even notice that you're also giggling while recollecting on what happened that day. And I challenged her to scream even louder than both of us did. And I managed to cheer her up. I look at her laughing. I thought in this life I really wanted to do those three things. I shouted with her. This time, you felt warm and thankful that after these past years, you still clearly remember that moment. And yeah, so that was the moment. That's very sweet of you. So have you moved on from your relationship? Honestly, not yet, he said and looked directly in your eyes. I want her back. Did you regret the breakup? I believe that everything happens for a reason and some things just can't be forced. When it's time to let go, you let go. All those choices, mistakes, and memories add up together to make someone grow and kind of help me and her because we already achieve our goals and I think I'm a little bit matured and thinking that I'm still in love with her and I hope same with my ex but what if she already mock on his eyes became teary as he looked down 
maybe so you will not be able to see him tearing up. It sounds immature, but I'm hoping that she still loves me. Then he raised his head again and broke at heel. Urgis smiled at him, but deep inside, you are trying to hold back your emotions. So guys, you heard him. I know many fans of you are disappointed after hearing that you have somebody in your heart. But guys, please remember that he is just a human. A normal man who also falls in love. Thank you, Mr. Jun, for sharing your stories to us. Thank you for having me here. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a good night. See you next week. He was about to talk to you, but your boss approached him. You just bow and walk straight going to the dressing room. You sat on the chair and rest your head on the table and close your eyes. Two years have been passed, but it's still fresh for you what happened two years ago. Since you and Jungkook got into a relationship, you support each other. You made each other feel that you are ready to face the problem as long as you are together. You both have a dream in life that you want to achieve, but it has been elusive for both of you. You still didn't give up. You tried even harder to achieve your ambition, but the result was you both neglected your relationship. You tried to fix it, but still, because you both are busy reaching your goals in life, nothing happened, so you just decided to break up. I accepted my dad's offer to work for his company, and I need to go to the UK. I don't know when I'll be back. That's the best idea. Go ahead. I also want to focus to become a reporter. I'm sorry if our relationship ended up like this. Yeah, we have nothing to apologize for. We know that we did everything to make it work. Maybe it's not really the time for us. We had a right love at the wrong time. Something like that. If ever I achieve my dreams and I still have a feelings for you, I will find you no matter what. What if I already have a relationship at that time? I wish when I see you again, you were still single. No one will cry and apologize, okay? Mm. No one. You smile and hug each other. After that, you decided to separate ways. Miss YN, Miss YN, uh huh. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm thinking about something. Someone sent these flowers to you. You accept the flowers and check it who sent it to you, but you can't find a letter or card. Then you remember what Jungkook said earlier. You're happy, but you don't know how to tell him that even you. You still love him until now. After separated ways two years ago, you never involved in any relationship because you believe him. You believe in his words that he will come back and find you no matter what. Should I call him? Every time you were not in your mood, confused, have a problem, and every time you miss him, you came here to think. You sat on the chair while your fingers are playing to the flowers that you were holding. You sent me these flowers, right? Answer me! Then someone placed a coat on your shoulder and sat next to you. Next time if you go here, bring a thick jacket. How did you know that I'm here? I was looking at you earlier, but they said they already left. My heart told me that you are here. 
I think my heart still recognized to his honor. I miss you. I'm sorry if it takes me so long to come back. You promised me that you will find me no matter what, right? I also promised to myself that I will wait for you no matter what. He held your head and leaned to his shoulder. I'm glad I'm not late. You just came at the right time. He securely wrapped his arms around your body while you still resting your head on his shoulder. Later on, he opened his hand. If you hold my hand now, promise, I won't let it go. You stared at his hand and held it tightly. How was your life without me? You ask. Every day I'm in hurry. I'm in hurry to fulfill my dream so I can get back to you. Me? A struggle is life, but it paid off. I miss you so much, Ko. You coat and buried your face on his chest while he's hugging you tightly. Are you leaving again? Definitely not. I transferred here to be with you. Your laughing heard throughout the place. You're talking non-stop as if you didn't want the night to end. You almost forgot that you two hadn't half dinner yet. And when you heard your boss stomach growling, you two just laughed together even louder. Let's go. I will cook you a special dinner at the house that I bought for us. For us? Hmm. As I told you, I won't let you go. So expect me to be your husband soon. He helps you to stand and hold your hand as you two walk together. The end. Good night, Kobe. Yes.